I have been on uh, TV for, I have been on TV for more than 10 years and I still get nervous. I was just taking a couple deep breaths. I still get nervous after 10 years of being on TV to go on a Facebook live in front of people I don't know. It's the funniest thing to me, and I think the main difference of being live as a reporter on the news versus going live in a Facebook group, even on my Facebook group, is the fact that you can see what people are saying and if people are paying attention almost instantaneously, and it freaks me out. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but let me know below if you still have to amp yourself up for Facebook Lives because that's exactly how I feel, even though I have been a TV news reporter for more than a decade. So uh, that's just, uh, I was laughing at myself pretty much, but feel free to laugh with me if uh, you feel the same way. So what I wanna jump on here today and talk about is directly for anybody who watches this. I literally help women in business with PR and marketing using my media experience back background working in local news, which is a, an exciting thing because a lot of people who work in PR or marketing don't know the other side of it and how journalists, reporters, anchors, producers, managers are making those decisions inside of their newsrooms, magazines, print journalism. And so I uh, discovered in the last year how valuable this can be for so many women. It's already started working and I'm just excited to share what I know because uh, it really lights a fire under me. So who am I? I am Andrea Lyon. I've been a local news reporter, ABC, NBC, Fox, different stations across the U.S. I'm originally from Minnesota but I'm living in Florida right now, and I would love to hear where you're from because I'm sitting inside a room with lots of AC on and uh, trying to, you know, escape the humidity and the heat here in Orlando, Florida. Soon I will be moving back up to Minnesota, though, which is very exciting, um, except for, you know, looking forward to that very chilly weather in the wintertime. So post below where you're from because I would love to hear uh, what where you guys are watching from. Um, and I will get started with my background. So uh, my story is not all giggles and fun and reporting. Um, everybody I think thinks that reporting and working in TV is such an exciting, thrilling career and uh, it is, it can be. Um, I enjoy it. I loved journalism and writing and shooting video and most of all, sharing stories from my community of people who, who are working in the community, doing great things, not so great things, and just bringing those to the millions of people that tune in every single day. I mean, it was it's a lifelong passion. I don't think I will ever not be a journalist. I still freelance. So I think it's just, you know, once you are a journalist, you will always be a journalist. What what changed for me was having children. I have two wonderful baby boys, Aiden and Oliver. Um, and once I became a mom, of course, things got harder. Life, uh, you know, stresses you out. But what people don't realize is is just like firefighters and police and people with those uh, trauma-inducing jobs, reporters also experience this. It's a very, very stressful job. So if you have a stressful job, if you're you know still stuck in a, a corporate job, I feel you. Um, you know, I, I left two jobs in the last year to finally pursue being my own boss and it's hard. It, it wears on your mental health and there are many women just like me, um, reporters who went through the very same thing. But now I'm, I'm getting to use that experience of working in TV and help other women entrepreneurs just like you wonderful ladies. Um, and so 
this is what I want to talk about. Let me know if you've ever heard about earned media. When I put it that way, people may not know what that term exactly means, but you've all seen it and maybe not realized either what it was or how to do it yourself. So anytime you watch TV, anytime you watch the news, anytime you open a magazine or the newspaper or any sort of blog, when people are writing news articles, um, doing news segments, anything, that is called earned media, especially if a business is involved. They sometimes don't even know that they're achieving earned media, which can be extremely profitable, help you rank on Google, help you essentially get in front of your ideal audiences that you're trying to sell to and speak to. And the best thing about earned media is really that you don't have to pay for it. And I think that really excites anyone who is trying to achieve earned media because besides a little effort, thinking, and maybe experience, it doesn't cost anything. You literally cannot purchase earned media because these are things that are, you know, not a not sold things that are actually happening in the community that journalists cover um, no matter what type of medium and it's ethically wrong and immoral for journalists to accept payments to cover certain stories and so remember how i was talking about you know how stressful it is to be a reporter I can tell you for a fact, the number one cause of stress for reporters is finding story ideas. I always get the question, well, how do you choose a story that you cover? Or who, who chooses the story? The reporters um, at the local level and um, usually at the, the newspaper side, digital side, have to bring stories every single day. So there's not a moment you are off the clock. Therefore, why I was so stressed out, right? I'm a mom at night. I'm constantly changing diapers, feeding, bathing my kids. But at the same time, I have to have a story ready to pitch because we do a, a story every single day for the news. And so there wasn't a moment that I wasn't thinking and wondering what was gonna happen next, whether it was with my kids or my job. And if you don't have a story, um, that's essentially your job. And so if you don't bring a story to your job, you're a failure and that's how you feel and that's how you're treated. And so what I teach women is to how to essentially come up with the exact story that, you know, that journalists are looking for locally, nationally, in your industry magazines and newsletters. And all you have to do is start thinking this way, making connections, send story ideas, and get earned media. It's just, it blows my mind that some people don't know how to do this, and that's why I'm teaching it now, because it's so valuable. Again, you cannot buy this, and so I'm so excited to share with you how to do it. If you have been able to do this, I would love to hear from you below about how you're doing it. Um, maybe share with us where you were able to land because I would love to see that personally. I would love to watch any articles or anything you're with. And I don't know um, because of the rules in this group, you may not be able to post those, but feel free to send them in my messenger because I would love to cheer you guys on, you know, see other articles that have been written about your business or you. Um, doesn't even have to be about your business. You know, sometimes I, uh, you know, ended up in the news or other people end up in the news for things that aren't necessarily related to their business. And that's still okay because you're, you're networking, right? You're meeting those journalists, feeding them stories. And then it's really easy from there on out to, you know, pitch your own stories. But here is what I'm going to tell you. This is exactly how to uh, 
come up with your own story idea. So this is like currency. If it, you, you know how excited you get when you find a $20 bill, right? It's something you didn't expect. Uh, it's gonna make your day better, it might buy you some lunch. This is the exact same thing that reporters feel when people send them a pretty much done for you story that they can cover. It's like winning a scratch off ticket, winning on a scratch off ticket that day. It just makes your day easier, especially um, if you're available that day, if um, you know producers and managers like the story idea, oh, it's the best feeling ever. I kind of equate it to, um, you know how children like to gain the approval of their parents, right? They're saying, mom, look at me, look at me. And when they, you know, show them what they can finally do, they're like, oh, that's so great, sweetheart. Like, you're doing such a good job. Well, reporters, whether they're aware of it or not, um, you know, and I, I've had months to think about this, to try to really break this down for people. But the reason why why pitching a story like this is so great is because reporters seek their managers and producers and uh, wh whoever is above them they seek that professional and emotional uh, approval to say that you're doing a great job you know you are succeeding at your job and unfortunately their self-worth like mine was is attached to that you know, pat on the back, essentially. But the great thing is, is that you'll know this, you'll be able to, you know, take advantage of that dynamic and, and really be able to jumpstart your marketing without spending pretty much any money. And it's really exciting. So let's jump right into it. And if you see my husband in the background, I didn't warn him that I was going live at two. So, um, just wave at him and <laughs> he might wave back. But uh, anyway, so basically the first step is just to understand that you likely already have story ideas and you're not even really aware of it. So just being completely entrenched in your industry. And like I said before, this really works for any business owner, any person um, in any industry, which is really exciting. And so the first thing that's really important is being aware of anything that is uh, you know, happening today, tomorrow, this week, um, and, and you know, kind of keeping those things on your radar because one of the most important elements of a news story, you know, when people click on the news, it's, you know, what is happening now, what is happening today, tonight and tomorrow. It's often not what happened yesterday, unless it was a really big news story. Um, it's likely not what's happening next week. People turn on the news, check their phones, listen to the radio and podcasts for what is happening now. Now, there are circumstances where things are a little bit more evergreen, and, and we can talk about that too. Um, I actually am going to talk about this later once I give you a uh, rundown, but I do have a course that's in the bottom of this post that, you know, really goes into depth in this subject and, and uh, you guys will be able to see in depth, you know, how you can put this to work. But if you uh, want to start using this today, the first thing is just having a timely story idea. Um, and, and let me think of something really quick. Uh, I have one client who, she is an author and a speaker. She is a survivor of what's called sibling sexual abuse. It's a, it's a tough subject. Um, and so what is timely about that? That's so broad. And what I see a lot of people talk about, you know, especially being a reporter and getting pitches on the other side, people are too broad with their pitches really just like we niche down in our business and we talk to one specific audience, your story pitches really have to niche down. And what I often tell people is your story has to be so focused that you could create a headline that specifically says, um, who does what, you know, fill in those blanks, who does what. Um, so for her, 
we came up with a story at the end of the school year because she told me, uh, you know, the the most common times for sibling sexual abuse to occur is during family outings, um, camps, retreats, places where the children are spending a lot more time together um, in uncommon circumstances. And so at the end of the school year, we were really saying, you know, kind of being proactive about this and, and hitting home that, you know, school is going to be over um, and, and this is what you need to worry about and how you can prevent it. So that time peg is so important. Um, and so one thing I, I talk about too is if you're just getting started and this is the first time you've heard about Earn Media, media or trying to can, contribute to a magazine, what you can first start working on is events that you know of in your industry, maybe events that you're holding, not selling, um, or uh, holidays. Holidays are such a big thing, especially because reporters need more stories during the holidays because offices close, uh, people aren't available, people are on vacation. And so um, coming up with a really good holiday pitch is really, really important. And so um, the next element is, is I want to drive this one home. I want to, you know, hit a home run with this one because uh, it's not, your story is not going to be about something you're selling. Um, it can be about you, but try to make it like any content you create for your business, try to make it as valuable for other people, um, those, those news stations, magazines, their viewers and readers, and not about you. It's okay if this happened to you, like my client, you know, this story happened to her, it's about her, but this is really about other people and what they can do, how this can help them and, you know, basically impact their lives for the better. Um, the next one is, again, like I said before, not selling anything. So this isn't going to be a platform where, you know, the big difference between PR and marketing is PR is all about relationships, networking, getting, getting your message out. Marketing is more about selling, right? So you're going to be able to buy ads in, in newspapers, uh, podcasts, um, local news, and you can talk about your products and stuff like that. These earned media segments are really about what's happening in your community and how do you play a role in that? Are you advocating for something? Do you have a stance on it? Um, did it impact your life or your neighbor's life? But really talking about uh, the other people, the people that are impacted by this story pitch that you are sending. And then again, like I was talking about, value will always be queen. So if you can think about something that's happening locally in your town, in your county, in your state, and really make that um, an impactful thing for people in your area and talk about how this is going to affect them. Are you warning them? Think about the things that you do see in the news or the things that you do read about and, you know, kind of play your own journalist. Like, why is this important and why should people care? Just ask yourself, why would you care and why would people click on this story? Um, so I will say, being a local news reporter, local is easier to get into, especially if you're in a smaller town. Um, it's a lot easier to pitch stories. If you're in a big city, it's still easier than getting in the national news. But uh, the game is pretty much the same across the board with any media publication um, or national. Uh, national is a little bit different in the fact that producers do a lot more pitching than reporters do. Um, so you have to shift that a little bit. But again, it's all about who you know, networking, 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 and pitching your ideas and really consistency. And so um, I would love to hear if anybody, after listening to me rant and rave for the last 10 minutes, if you have a story idea, um, post it below and I will let you know what I think about it because there are exactly nine elements um, to a pitch 
that um, really any journalist, producer, manager, almost by second nature, grades these pitches on to decide whether or not this is a good enough story to go to air, to go to print, to, you know, basically essentially serve it up for their viewers. And so if you want to go ahead and post a, uh, a story pitch or an idea you might have thought of below on this live, I'd love to give you any sort of feedback um, and, and go from there. And who knows, I actually have a reporter group that I, sh I uh, share stories with. So if I think it's good enough, I might put it in there because sometimes, um, you know, there's just such a good story that I'm like, oh, someone has to cover this. So I will post it in there. And so what I want to do next, uh, and if you have any questions, please too, if this doesn't make any sense to you whatsoever, please let me know because uh, I of course want to make this as clear and concise as possible. Um, so again, those elements are timely. Um, talk about what the viewers care about. This is not just about you. Do not sell anything in your pitch. This is not a marketing pitch. This is a story idea pitch to media. And then again, value is king. So what do you do with that next? So you want to connect with a reporter, a journalist, a writer, and I really talk about that in my own Facebook group, which is called Getting Noticed and In the News, Building Credibility. Um, we're in the process of changing that. So uh, if you're, you're uh, watching this in the last seven days from this post, it should be the same. That is just getting noticed and in the news. Um, but we post a lot uh, of free tips in there, including how to find reporters. So if you're not really sure about how to find reporters and their emails and connect with them, I do share a lot about that. Um, other ways to pitch um, essentially in that group and I can, you know, talk with you and give you feedback there as well. Um, but what I really want to talk about too is, is the webinar I just created goes in depth into every single element that we really weigh our, you know, weigh this pitch on because while I was learning about this in college and I thought it was boring at the time and it really became second hand for my entire, you know, 10 year career as being a reporter there, if you break it down, there really are different elements that people in news way to decide if this is a good story timely being a really big part of that um, but i do have a list of that in my webinar in that link at the end of this post and so if you just click on there and as a gift to all of the women entrepreneurs and here it's just 12 bucks when you use the promo code pitch now in one word and um, i will post that promo code at the bottom of this live so you can go straight to that link and just put in promo code pitch now all one word and it'll just be 12 bucks so much information in there for such little price uh it kind of pained me but my marketing guy told me he's like you'll reach a lot more people and uh you know get a lot more feedback valuable feedback from people who are trying out your courses so i'm really excited to see what people think about that but if you're if you have any business at all and are serious about reaching a large number of people just like in this group and having that exposure and not spending any money this is the way to do it and those nine elements will really help you break down and basically give yourself the okay to say this is a really great pitch i think that uh this is uh you know, a good story to send in. But essentially, um, those nine elements, I'll give them to you because they're they're pretty uh, important, but timely, um, impact, uh, enterprise, balance. I'm trying to remember all of them off the top of my head because like I said, um, this all becomes second nature. Um, weird is one of them. If you've ever seen like a super crazy weird story, 
um, those are almost automatically <laughs> included in stories. Um, conflict, any story that you see in the news usually has some sort of conflict. Um, two sides, of course, availability and safety, you know, warning anyone, you know, about something that could potentially impact them. Um, but I'm just so excited to be able to share this with you. Super valuable information, how to get in the news um, for zero dollars. I'm talking ABC, NBC, Forbes, Business Insider, and all of this information is in my course in this post for just $12 with that promo code uh, pitch now. And even, if you have any questions at all, I'd be so happy to answer them. I'm super passionate about sharing what I know, um, or if you have any questions just about you know me being a reporter for 10 years, I'm always happy to talk about that, hear your story, because I'm huge into everybody's stories. But I just wanna thank anyone who popped in here today uh, to listen to this, because I absolutely love sharing this, and I'd love to hear your stories. So uh, check that webinar out. Um, and let me know what you think, because I'm really interested to see what people have to say. All right, I hope you guys have a great week, have a great Monday, and kick butt, okay? Bye.